hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we want to look at the resistance variation where we'll be looking at how to calculate the resistivity of a given wire now let's proceed so to calculate the resistivity of a particular wire we use the formula r is equal to rho l over a now our R is the resistance of the wire. Our rho is the resistivity of the wire. That is what we are looking at. Resistivity. Our L is the length of the wire. The length of the wire. And then A is the cross-sectional area. Cross-sectional area sectional area now from here if we want to make resistivity which is what we are looking for the subject all we have to do over here is to cross multiply over here so we have resistance multiplied by the cross sectional area will be equal to resistivity multiplied by length but because we are looking for resistivity we divide both side by l both side by l this will cancel this and therefore our resistivity will be equal to the product of resistance and the cross-sectional area divided by the length of the wire. Okay, so this becomes the formula for calculating the resistivity of a particular wire. Now kindly note that the formula from the formula resistance is measured in ohms, area is in meters squared. And then length is in meters so it means one of the meters will cancel one of the meters we have at the top here so our resistivity has the unit of ohm meter so the unit of resistivity is ohm meter so now that we've looked at the formula for calculating the resistivity of a particular wire let's look at some uh, practical examples to appreciate what we are learning so example number one the resistance of a 5 meter length of wire is 600 ohms. We are to determine A, the resistance of an 8 meter length of the same wire and B, the length of the same wire when the resistance is 420 ohms. So let's look at the solution to this problem. So the first thing we'll do is to look at the parameters that we've been given in the question. They said the resistance of a 5 meter length wire is 600 ohms. So it means our resistance, let me make that R1, is 600 ohms. And the length of that particular wire, L1, is 5 meters. Now we are to determine the resistance of an 8 meter length wire of 8 meter length of the same wire so if we have the same wire but now it has the length of 8 meters so which is now L2 what will be our resistance so that is what we don't know so we have to find R2 alright so from here let's look at how to approach this particular question now we know that the resistance is equal to resistivity multiply by length over cross-sectional area so if i make this r1 so it means this will be r1 l1 over a1 let me put it that way and then r2 will also be rho l2 over a2 now the fact that they are saying that it is of the same wire means that they will have the same resistivity and then the same area since the area depends on the diameter or the radius of the wire and not the length so it means area and resistivity will be the same so if we divide resistor 1 resistance 1 by resistance 2 we have r1 by r2 and that will be equal to rho L1 on A divided by rho L2 on A2. Make it that way. So this is equal to or implies R1 on R2 is equal to 
row L1 on A1, we change the division sign over here to multiplication. And so we reciprocate the guy we have over here. It becomes A2 on row L2. And because we said that the wire is the same, it means the area will be the same. So they will cancel out and their resistivity will also be the same. So they also cancel out. So from here, we are only left with resistor 1 over resistor 2 is equal to we have l1 at the top over here so we have l1 over we have l2 at the bottom over here so we have l2 at the bottom over here so this is the formula we'll be using to find the second resistance so now that we found our formula let's go ahead and do the substitution and get our answer Okay, so from here, we have R1 on R2 is equal to L1 on L2. But R1 is 600, and then R2 is unknown, and L1 is 5 meters, and then L2 is 8 meters. So from here, R2 will be equal to, we multiply 600 by 8, and then we divide it by 5. So it becomes 600 multiplied by 8 divided by 5. And so when we compute this into our calculator, our second resistance or the resistance of the wire when the length is 8 meters will give us a value of 960 ohms as our answer. So for option A, our answer is 960. So let's use another color to depict that. So our resistance over here is 960 ohms. Okay. So now that we are done with that, let's look at the solution for the second part. Now, for the second part, we were told to find the length of the same wire when the resistance is 420. So now, note that our R1 given to us in the question or 600 ohms and then L1 or the length of the wire initially was 5 meters now we've been asked to find the length of the same wire when the resistance so we're given R3 here let me use R3 because the first one we found was R2 so this is 420 ohms and then we have L3 which is what we are supposed to find and then we don't know that one okay so from here looking at the first expression we derived it means when we divide r1 by r3 it will give us the expression l1 over l3 from what we have derived earlier on this is what it will give us so so it means that we have over here our r1 which is 600 so we have 600 on our r3 which is 420 to be equal to our L1, which is 5, and then our L3, which we do not know. Now, from here, all we have to do is to try and find the L3 value over here. So, let's proceed to look at that. So, from here, it means we have 600 multiplied by L3 is equal to 5 multiplied by 420 so we divide both sides by 600 by 600 and that will give us the value of l3 so when we compute the value of l3 into our calculator 5 multiplied by 420 divided by 600 will give us a value of 3.5 3.5 meters so the answer or the length of the same wire when the resistance is 420 is 3.5 meters. All right, let's look at the second example. A piece of wire of cross-sectional area 2 millimeters square has a resistance of 300 ohms. We are to find A, the resistance of the wire of the same length and material if the cross-sectional area is 5 millimeters square and B, the cross-sectional area of a wire of the same length and material of resistance 
750 ohms so that is the second challenge or the second problem we are supposed to work on so let's proceed and do that now write down our solution and look at the parameters that we are given so solution so we have a piece of wire of cross-sectional area so let me make this a1 to be two millimeters squared and has a resistance which is r1 of 300 ohms now we have to find the resistance of the same wire of the same length and the material if the cross-sectional area so area 2 is 5 millimeters square and then the resistance to the second resistance we do not know okay so let's look at how we can solve this now from this expression what we get is that they have the same length and so we will use that in our deduction now we know that resistance is equal to resistivity multiplied by length over cross-sectional area so this is i'll make the r r1 and then the a a1 we know that the length is the same so it will be the same and then the resistivity doesn't change for a particular material so for resistor 2 it will also be rho or resistivity multiplied by l over a2 now if we divide resistor 1 by resistor 2 we have r1 divided by r2 will give us rho l over a1 which is for resistor 1 multiplied by a2 on rho l now if you look at here the resistivity and the length will cancel each other out so therefore it means that the ratio of resistor 1 to resistor 2 when the length of the wire is the same will be equal to the ratio of area 2 on area 1 now using this expression let's compute our values and find the answer for our first option so we have over here resistor 1 on resistor 2 will be equal to area 2 on area 1 so from here we have the first resistance is 300 on resistor 2 we don't know is equal to area 1 which is uh, area 2 sorry which is 5 on area 1 which is 2 now note that I have not converted the area because at the end of the day they will cancel out and so we'll be left with the value for resistance as our answer so from here we just cross multiply and find the value of r so if we cross multiply we have 5 r2 to be equal to 2 multiplied by 300 which is 5 r2 is equal to 600 we divide both sides by 5 and then our second resistance will give us a value of 120 ohms as our answer right so now let's proceed and find the option b or the second option now b is saying we should find the cross-sectional area of a wire of the same length and material of resistance 750 ohms now remember that the first area that we're given is two millimeters squared and then the resistance the first resistance is 300 ohms now with the same length we are given the second resistance over here to be 750 that is for option b and we're asked to find the cross-sectional area so let me make um, the r here r3 then the a here a three all right so from here let's uh based on the previous deduction that we've made we've established the fact that r1 on r2 is equal to a2 on a1 now to be the same here in this case we are using r3 so the a2 and then the r2 will become r3 
a3 so from here we do our substitution we have r1 which is 300 on r2 750 is equal to a3 which we do not know and then our a1 which is 2 over here so if we cross multiply we have 300 multiplied by 2 is equal to 750 a3 okay so from here we divide we have 600 is equal to 750 a3 we divide both sides by 750 and then our value for a3 will be equal to 600 divided by 750 will give us 0 0.8 millimeters square as the area of the same length of wire if the resistance is 750 ohms all right let's look at one final example and then we end this tutorial so we have to determine the resistance of 100 1200 meters of copper cable having a diameter of 12 millimeters if the resistivity of copper is 1.7 times 10 raised to the power minus 8 ohm meter all right so let's have a look at the solution to this problem so we ask to find the resistance, so we don't know the resistance, R is unknown, when the length of the copper, the length is 1200 meters, having a diameter, so we're given a diameter of 12 millimeters, which is equal to 12 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 meters, and then we're given the resistivity to be 1.7 times 10 raised to the power minus 8 ohm meter very good so now we know that the formula for calculating the resistance when resistivity is given is r is equal to resistivity multiplied by the length over the cross sectional area now this is equal to we realize that we have all the parameters that we need we have resistivity in the right unit ohm meter we have length which we have converted into meters so it's also in the right unit and then we don't have our cross sectional area which is what is pending over here so from here what we need to do is to find a cross sectional area first now the cross sectional area a we can find that by using the formula pi d square on 4 that is the formula for finding the cross sectional area pi is a constant value the diameter has been given to us as 12 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. Then we square that. Then we divide it by 4. Now, if we compute everything we have over here into our calculator, we will get our cross sectional area to be 1.13 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 meters squared as our area. So now that we have our area here, we come back to the top. We know that our resistivity given to us in the question is 1.7 times 10 raised to the power minus 8 multiplied by the length which is 1200 or divided by the cross sectional area which is 1.13 times 10 raised to the power minus 4. And so if we compute everything here into our calculator, we will get a resistance of value 0 0.18 ohms as our final answer so thank you so much for watching this is how we calculate the resistivity of a wire if we are given the resistance the length of the wire and the cross-sectional area or the diameter of that particular wire so thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye